Hello. It's uh, early Thursday evening. The sun is uh, still out and very beautiful. I'm sorry about all the traffic noise. It is uh, it's evening rush hour. Uh, <laughs> so it's rush hour down the country lanes. Well, actually, that's not a country lane, uh, it, but it is just a country road. It's better anyway. It is quite noisy this evening, so I'm sorry about that. It's been a fabulously uh, productive day here today. I'm sitting in between uh, where the food forest is at the moment uh, and, the, and the chicken fields. And bit by bit, uh, this food forest is going to work its way uh, across the whole property, but uh, I'm actually only doing a bit at a time you know, as I can. Uh, so this is a, a grassed area which uh, Mr J has given its first mow today. Uh, so blades set quite high, uh, just a rough cut uh, to stop the grass growing up to knee height. In a hand, then he'll come back and, and redo it as and when. I am not a huge fan of lawn. Um, I'm not a huge fan of just great big grassed areas that are unproductive. Uh, so bit by bit, uh, we will turn this into the food forest, uh, but maybe not this year. Uh, when Mr. J mowed the grass, obviously there were a whole load of grass clippings. So I've taken them over to the annual vegetable garden. Uh, I've done some weeding uh, in one of the raspberry beds, taken out the weeds that are in flower uh, so they don't go to seed. Uh, and then I've mulched uh, with the grass clippings. Now, uh, Wisdom of using fresh grass clippings. I don't know. I don't know whether it's a smart move or not, but I've done it. Um, it's it's been a dry day since I put them on there, so the grass is now drying out. So hopefully uh, it will just form you know, just like a barrier layer uh, and just make make it less hospitable uh, for the weeds to come up through. And eventually, I guess it will also feed the soil uh, and improve the soil structure a little bit. But over in that direction uh, is where I have started planting potatoes. Well, today I've got another row in. The Pent and Javelin have gone in today and they've just gone in uh, with some shop bought compost on top of them and then the, uh, the chicken bedding that's been sitting around. In fact, this has probably now been sitting around for the best part of a year. It's, it's much older than the first lot I used. Uh, so that's gone over the top. But while I was there, I noticed that... Da -da 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 -da, <laughs> potatoes I planted for my trial uh, are growing as are the other ones I put in that day so that's great news there uh, we have got potatoes growing uh, in all four uh, of the different coverings While I'm in the greenhouse, uh, I thought I'd give you a quick update on how everything is doing in here. Well, here's the answer to that. Uh, so broad beans are now three, four, five inches high. Uh, the mange two are uh, five or six inches high. It's time I got these out into the garden. Uh, the kales are doing fine. The cabbages are doing well. Uh, the, the Asturian tree cabbage is now four or five inches high uh, and is looking really good. Uh, kales are good, cabbages are good. And this is the lettuce that I sowed uh, a week or so ago, last week. Just, now this is, <laughs> this is going to be harder to sow uh, simply because I can't see so easily where it's landed. Well, that's not too bad. I can see a little bit. Um, what I can see is quite a lot of it is grouped together too much. Uh, so as you can see, uh, one half has come up really well and the second half has got two uh, tiny little seedlings. Um, it is still moist, uh, the top's got very dry, but the rest of it is still uh, it's moist underneath. So I'm not really sure why uh, this one half has grown better than the other. However, this is more than enough lettuces for one planting. Um, 
so I'm not going to worry about it too much uh, and in a week or so's time I'll sow some more so I can keep that succession uh, of plants coming but I'm pleased with these ones and the lavenders up on the shelf uh, are looking good and the leeks are looking great uh, there we go so about three inches high now uh, and they do by the feel of it they do need a water uh, so I'll come in and do that in a minute and I'll just have to try uh, not to disturb the Monty plant um, <laughs> that's growing in the soil down there the girls in the broody house here uh, have previously been complaining like mad uh, but it seems that one at a time they're going in uh, and sitting on the eggs while the other one comes out and this girl <laughs> has been inside most of the day um, so who knows we'll have to give it a few more days and see uh, whether they are actually going to settle down uh, in there together and, uh, and raise, raise some babies or not. So it's been one of those days where we haven't uh, just done one big project outside. It's been lots of uh, little small maintenance bits and, and moving things forward. And although that's not as exciting uh, to watch, actually real life isn't always about big projects. And so I'm really pleased that today, you know, we've just... We have kept going and we've moved things forward and we've come in and we've taken breaks and we've eaten well and it has felt like a, a very relaxed but actually a really productive day. Well that's it for me today. Uh, Mr J has just finished the washing up. I've put our supper in the oven uh, and I need to go and cook some vegetables to go with it. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and I also hope You'll join me again tomorrow.